All right, family, get a new sport, Mary Dad, Swinney Mary Leaps. Today is August 26th, Friday in my city, Chicago. It's kind of quiet around here, eerie, like death defying. They said the year is supposed to be 2022. Um, the bus was coming, but it's not, you know, they hating. I ran into a, a feather fist worker. And, you know, if they was going to do anything for me, they would have asked if I needed a ride back to the place. Not that I would have accepted. I wasn't even trying to cross the street on Stony Island. I was going to keep straight, but the spirit don't lie, right? So, you know, I took a picture, and timing is everything. Numbers don't lie. I got my numbers don't lie shirt on. And... This is definitely not my group and stuff. Um, from the ones that grew up with me, don't try to cross over and shit. Because all they trying to do is peep our moves and stuff, for real. Fill in the blanks. Yeah, they're not working with me. You know, I am the original Mills on Wheels. I put that in the rap. But, you know, uh, you know I just be thinking. I'm not like they be thinking but I guess great minds think alike and if you think like a criminal or somebody on drugs or somebody that's stealing you know all these trucks you know you know be moving more than um, tools and things of that nature now I'm not the type of person to like being in people's business, but because people was in my business, you know, and it's getting on my nerves, I guess, you know, they wanted me to be in theirs and stuff. So they basically want to see a motherfucker struggling and shit, you know. I guess it's all boils down to clientele and, you know, Tupac says support the real and not the fake. And if I wasn't real, you understand what I'm saying? After 1995, I would have never made it to 2008, and I would have made it to 2022. You understand? Now, they, they just want to peep my motherfucking moves, and I'm like, you know, I don't play games like this, for real. I'm just trying to live my little life, go to the store, whatever. It's obvious they ain't trying to do nothing for me. They go to the bank over there, you know, they be dropping off. That's the real you know, money or whatever and stuff. You know, they make money all day, burn it, shred it, whatever. But, uh, you know, if you don't have no workers due to the fact everybody drinking, drugging, and smoking, and then robbed everybody, and what you think, my people gonna work for y'all for free? They don't work like that. So, you know, they listen to me. That, that got 2001 on it. So we know how uh, Dr. Drake, became the first billionaire. I mean, come on now. He doing beats and, you know, producing. But, you know, what about the people in the field that pushed y'all CDs and whatever the case and made sure y'all grew up and supported you. So now that you got yours, you know, they got a song, I gotta get mine, so you gotta get yours. Okay, you got mine and yours. What they say, what's mine is yours. What's yours is mine. Well, you know, you might want to give me mine back because starting over is not uh, doing me any good. Because we don't start over, nigga. You know, you gave me cancer, try to kill me. I can't forget that. That would never be forgiven until you do right by me. Access speaks loud in the world. Words, and you know, I left early. Three motherfuckers in front of the goddamn. Uh, building, you know, these motherfuckers feeling themselves, I guess, and stuff. They got a little car, a little truck, and stuff, acting like they're running something. The newspaper talking about, they was talking about killing me, but talking about R. Kelly. I don't know, they could have been talking about me, but the newspaper said R. Kelly X said they was planning on killing him. And I told y'all they was planning on killing us and shit. For real, if I would have kept going, we'd be dead. What you think they did to me in 2016? If I would have fought. They would have killed me. Now, if I die, we all die. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. You should have killed me in 1995. You should have killed me in, you know, 2016. You know what I'm saying? You don't decide when you can kill me. 
because all this uh, changing stuff and making him seem as though you know you're on top of your game and I know I'm on top of mine. You know. Alright, so K Reno, I don't know if you was behind all this, but this say Wino. You spell it K-A-R-I-N-O, right? That say Rhino, this say Mac. I didn't tell motherfuckers to put that shit in there. This is the people, when they put it in concrete and on your pitch on the wall, that mean they finna kill you or something. You understand what I'm saying? I didn't know all about this and stuff until I started walking. Now, I don't, ain't supposed to be walking, but it is what it is. You want to check it out for yourself in my city of Chicago, 71st and Stony Island. Real tell it. Yeah, somebody trying to trade places with me. Trying to give me their hell for, for my heaven. I don't want their hell. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker Tupac talking about y'all in hell and don't even know it's shit. Yeah. Now, I've been in hell all my life, but that's the case. Yep. But hopefully, you know, we'll get out of here. You know what I mean? The price of freedom is death. So, you know, any motherfucker that want to blow my head off, you got my permission. Just know I'm going to end the world when the shit happens. Now, you keep playing with me, think I'm crazy and shit. You got me fucked up. Yeah, they tried to kill me in 2016. They were not playing. Right here, they say major dis depression. Compensation up to $70 her completed study business. So I say don't shit on me and say it's raining. Real yeah, tough. You understand what I'm saying? Got my birthday up in there. They give a nigga $75. Nigga, y'all are supposed to be billionaires and shit. You're not letting them get away with all this goddamn money. This motherfucker snitching. All these motherfuckers robbing nine times out of ten. And I'm the only dumb motherfucker that they think don't know what time it is. I mean, I don't look like this for real, nigga. I am not, you know, you know how people learn something and they can't wait to tell. It's like a secret and shit. And they can't wait to tell. But real motherfuckers know how to hold their goddamn, you understand what I'm saying? Peace and all that. You understand what I'm saying? And if I tell you know what the streets say, I gotta kill you. So, you know, I'm snitching like a motherfucker. For real. Motherfuckers ain't getting away with all that goddamn money. This is the uh, anchor part of the story. If this was a, a movie for real, and it is, you understand what I'm saying? They just trying to use that biggie small shit. Um, you're nobody to somebody kill you, bitch. I've been somebody since Jesse Jackson been talking about. I am somebody, bitch. I go way back and shit. Real fucking tough before biggie small. So all you old motherfuckers and new motherfuckers, y'all better catch a clue. For real, because I ain't going to keep schooling you motherfuckers. I don't get paid for this shit. And I really don't care because you don't care. That's the honest guy's truth. Either way, it's Freedom Friday. Y'all ain't trying to rain on your parade and shit. If you suffer from depression and shit, listen to some gospel music. Stop listening to all that demonic stuff and go with your conscience and shit. And sometimes you got to cut your ties with people who you think were your friends, family, or associates and stuff and get you some real motherfuckers and shit. You know, I never steered you in the wrong direction if you're a real Mary McNamara. You know I ain't lying. For real, the eyes don't lie, okay? You're a fucking tough. If you think about your family, friends, and myself, Hanging there with me, cause we winning. Real talk, we have won Christ King. Okay? These motherfuckers trying to creep into heaven and shit. The motherfuckers that was never doing nothing and shit. You know, the movie The Rosewood, when we was on the train and shit. You know, I'm not saying me, but you know, motherfuckers had to uh, put in all that work. Got on the train and then motherfuckers came out the woodwork. You understand what I'm saying? For real, for real. And wanted to get on the train and shit at the last second and ain't did no fucking work and shit. These the snitches and shit, real fucking tall. These the motherfuckers was waiting to see what was, what was gonna happen and shit, real fucking tall. And then when they realized motherfuckers was winning, then they wanna come out and act like a real motherfucker. But they ain't did shit all their fucking lives and shit. You understand what I'm saying? I've been work, working through this pandemic and everything and stuff. When it was blood on the motherfucking goddamn windows on the buses and shit. Then the motherfuckers was probably getting murked on this motherfucker, for real. When the goddamn it, the smell was so thick, and I felt like I was gonna die. You understand what I'm saying? Real fucking talk from all that 
disease carrying whatever and shit. So they have no choice but to train up their act and shit for real. Because while you trying to kill me, you killing yourself too and shit. I mean, I got chaos and ain't got no fucking... It's like the movie Saw. You understand what I'm saying? Look at the fucking movie Saw, all of them and shit, for real. The man, they gave him cancer. He found out he had cancer and people act like they didn't appreciate living and stuff. He was like, okay, since you don't care and I ain't got nothing to lose, you know what I'm saying? Let me show you what I would do if I didn't have cancer. I would be grateful. I used to say that in Alcoholics Anonymous all the time. My name is Mary and I'm a grateful member of AA. You know why? Because somebody paved the way for me to get sober. These motherfuckers taking advantage of, you know, AA or not taking advantage of it and shit. You understand what I'm saying? And you wonder why they out here drinking drugs and smoking and shit. For real. They don't, they don't appreciate nothing. They, the older ones is worse than the younger ones. You know, I'm telling you the truth. So young people, stick with your kind and shit, for real. Because you are the future and you might be able to help me out in the long run. That's the honest guy's truth. With that, you'll get on the news. Portland, Mary, Gaston, and Mary, Lee. Enjoy your day. Peace. Featherfish, you know you owe me.